Hi, I'm Dr. Harold Schmolenson. I'm here today to demonstrate the ClickStick system for taking radiographs. The ClickStick system is the single ring, single rod, single holder system to comfortably take a complete series of radiographs on your patients. Traditional systems generally have three rings, three rods, multiple bite blocks to accomplish this. The drawbacks to them are very simple and very obvious. When you're using a handheld unit such as this, such as a Nomad, you're unable to get close and accurate x-rays because this scatter shield is prohibited from getting closer due to the rod that exists. In our system, that rod is infinitely variable. It's extra oral. It's not in the mouth. And we're able to get as close to the cheek as possible for a very high definition radiograph. Today, for our demonstration purposes, we're using a unit that is not live. Our sensors are also not live. Therefore, my patient here will not be wearing a lead apron just for demonstration purposes today. Now, first off, let's show you a traditional system to take a posterior picture. The sensor is placed in the patient's mouth. When the patient bites down and we're going to use this handheld x-ray unit, we can only get as far or close in as possible as the length of the rod. The rod is closing in and clashing with this. Now, with our system, the click rate system, when we place the rod in this position, what we're going to do is we'll show you how this is done. In this case, I'm just going to reposition this so I can show you exactly. In this case, we're going to get this upper right hand shot. I'll have the patient close down on it. Now notice, I'm going to push this as far in as possible. Notice how close that ring is to the cheek. Notice how close I could get the scatter shield. This will give you a very crisp, high, defi high definition radiograph. We can proceed in this to take the upper right hand side. We turn this over, place it in the mouth for the lower left hand side. When we take this out, this is our learning curve, just so you can see. All you have to do is take the ring, place the ring on the opposite side. We're going to take our bite block off, reposition it here. The sensor in this case would also have to be repositioned. And now we're ready to go to take our upper left. and lower right radiographs. Again, we can push this in to get as close as possible without interference of the scatter sheet. To take an anterior view, all we have to do is simply take this off, replace the bite block with the anterior, and again, the patient would bite down for the, for the three uppers and the three lowers. If there is any problem with this getting close or you're concerned, what we do is we just turn it around like we showed you on the left and right hand side, just so you don't have to worry about this getting close to the cheek on that particular side. Last but not least, we have bite wings. For the bite wing, we just place it on the short side, turn our ring over to the other side, have our patient close down, and again, See how we're going to get close? We just move that in as close as possible. We take our bite wings on this side. Open, please. Take our bite wings on that side. Open, please. So, in conclusion, we have shown you a simplified radiographic system that is more comfortable to the patient, easier to use, and has the ability to work with handheld units. Lynn and I was the model today for the click ray system. So, Lynn, you had the first system in your mouth, which was a traditional ring and rod system, and then you had the click ray, click stick system in your mouth. Can you tell us which one you felt was more comfortable? Absolutely. The click ray system was significantly more comfortable. What I noticed was when you were holding um, it between your teeth, the traditional system was poking the especially in the roof of the mouth, um, 
and the other system was not. It was significantly more comfortable. Thank you so much for sharing with us.